Why was Russian President Vladimir Putin behaving so uncharacteristically in an Easter service? And how has it led some medical professionals to believe he has a neurological disorder? Keep watching for the details. The church service that gave rise to the renewed interest in Putin's health was an annual midnight mass for Easter at Moscow's Christ the Savior Cathedral, The Sun reports. Putin took part in the ceremony by standing off to the side and holding a tall red candle, crossing himself, and performing other duties alongside Moscow Mayor Sergei Sovyanin. News outlets immediately jumped on a host of odd mannerisms Putin exhibited during the Mass, leading to descriptions like unsteady, distracted, and frail-looking, with some also calling him ashen and bloated. Given that Putin is a world leader and recently started a war in Ukraine, it makes sense for observers to put his every gesture under a microscope. And these are quite unusual for the typically impassive Putin. Some have even suggested that the whole thing was staged, or that the pictures and footage from this year's Mass were duplicates from last year's. According to The Sun, would-be online sleuths cited things like Putin's similarity of clothing down to the shade of his tie. On the other hand, this incident isn't isolated. During a recent interview with Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, Putin appeared disturbingly rigid while clutching a table. He also seemed to be exhibiting uncontrolled leg spasms, some Twitter observers claimed. Putin's recent behavior has led some onlookers and even medical experts to believe he's showing signs of Parkinson's disease. The former head of Britain's secret intelligence service told GBN, I mean, the best explanation is that he may have Parkinson's. Parkinson's is a debilitating disorder stemming from the deterioration of the brain's neurons. According to the Mayo Clinic, many of the symptoms of Parkinson's seem to line up with Putin's recent behavior. Tremors of the limbs combined with stiff muscles, impaired posture and slowed movement, slurred speech, and the emergence of uncontrolled bodily tics and twitches. Parkinson's affects the entire musculature of the body, which also creates incontinence and constipation, sleep disorders, and difficulties chewing and swallowing. Parkinson's also affects the mind. It results in difficulty thinking and concentrating, unstable emotions, depression, and more. As is often the case with a life-changing diagnosis, some of the effects are not direct symptoms of Parkinson's, but result from receiving the news itself. The Parkinson's Foundation explains that treatment for Parkinson's varies from person to person and includes drugs, surgery, and exercise. There is no cure. At present, about 10 million people worldwide have the disease. Parkinson's often develops naturally as someone gets older. It can also be caused by drug treatments for other disorders and illnesses. Schizophrenia and dementia, for instance, are often treated using antipsychotic drugs that reduce the amount of dopamine in the body. This can create drug-induced Parkinsonism, which accounts for about 7% of all Parkinson's onset, according to the Parkinson's Disease Society. Some have therefore suggested that Putin's alleged Parkinson's developed from an unspecified earlier dementia. Parkinson's is a type of dementia, a category of degenerative neurological disorders. People often receive a diagnosis of dementia with Lewy bodies on the way to developing full-blown Parkinson's. This is typically from 50 years old on, according to the National Institute of Aging. Lewy bodies are abnormal clumps of a protein that build up in the brain. They cause all of the involuntary movement and emotional issues we associate with Parkinson's. Numerous people have taken up the Putin has Parkinson's banner, but Newsweek reports that a nurse goes one step further. This nurse, who works with Parkinson's patients, posted a video on TikTok describing evidence not only of Parkinson's, but of Putin having had a stroke. He's also probably had a stroke, as you can see with the utilization of his right leg and the jerking lifting. He says that jerking lifting in the legs indicates a greater possibility of vascular dementia. Vascular dementia can result from a stroke or develop in tandem with one, and is caused by reduced blood flow to the brain, the Mayo Clinic explains. Those who commented on the nurse's video largely corroborated it and described similar things happening to family members. Deductions about Parkinson's disease, vascular dementia, and strokes can be made based on observable evidence. But rumors that Putin has been bathing in blood extracted from severed deer antlers? That's speculation hearsay. Yet, if Russian outlet Pryact is to be believed, that is what Putin has been doing in an attempt to cure himself of nothing less than terminal cancer. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi even mentioned it. Some people say he has cancer. Pryact claims that Putin has visited with doctors a stunning number of times in recent years. They say he visited an oncologist and surgeon 35 times over four years, and that doctor stayed with Putin a total of 166 days over that period. Putin also met with two ortholaryngologists, one of whom he saw 59 times and who stayed with Putin for 282 days. Consultations with these doctors, Pryak concludes, points to thyroid problems, which they take to mean cancer. Pryak also reports about Putin taking to what one might call alternative medicine for his health woes. 
Now Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, once head of the Ministry of Emergency Situations, allegedly convinced Putin of the health benefits of bathing in the blood drained from the antlers of Altai stags. Time will likely tell about the supposed cancer, but we may never know for sure about the deer blood. One last question, why does Putin look so bloated? The Daily Mail notes that throat and face puffiness could be connected to steroid use related to cancer treatment. As the National Library of Medicine says, steroids are prescribed as part of treatments for thyroid nodules and lymphoma. The MD Anderson Center further explains that steroids are also prescribed to decrease nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy. Steroid treatment can cause mental instability, agitation, confusion, and highs called steroid psychosis. The Mayo Clinic explains that these symptoms are similar to those present in Parkinson's patients. Steroid use can also cause increased appetite, weight gain, and swelling, especially in the face and legs. This typically happens if steroids have been administered for a long time. It's easy to speculate about what's allegedly been going on with Putin. Perhaps it's Parkinson's, the aftermath of a stroke, or the side effects of cancer treatment. But barring a statement from the Kremlin or even more obvious symptoms, it's hard to know what's happening for certain. In the meantime, he'll remain in power and keep making decisions that affect Russia, Ukraine, and the world at large. It might lead us to believe that he can't be deterred. Uh, and that he's more, even more dangerous than he's proven himself to be. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about world leaders and current events are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.